So as we've come to discover, the BSAA, an organization that was once dedicated to fighting bioterrorism, is now creating BOWs and using them theirself. And we figured this out at the end of Resident Evil 8 when Chris and his Howwolf squad pick up a body left by the BSAA and they find out that it's actually a BOW. And from that point forward, Chris orders his team to immediately head to the BSAA European Division to do some investigating. From that point forward, we don't really know what is to happen. We don't know if this is going to be the plot point for the DLC that's been confirmed, or if this is going to be a plot point for Resident Evil 9 and have a larger, you know, plot to the entire series. We don't really know which direction they're going to go. If I had to guess, I want to say this is going to be Resident Evil 9 related plot because Capcom had said that Resident Evil 8 DLC was originally not going to happen, but the demand for it got so high that they decided to do it, which is why we're still waiting to see anything regarding the DLC is because they're doing it all from scratch. So I think with that in mind, the ending of Resident Evil 8 was clearly meant for Resident Evil 9 because when the ending came out, DLC wasn't even a thought. So that just that's my thought on that. I think Resident Evil 9 is when we're going to see this get continued. So with that, I think Resident Evil 9 would be a perfect game to reintroduce Jill Valentine, bring her back into the series so that she can finally be canonically in the main timeline and we actually see an older Jill alongside Chris and all that good stuff. Like it would just be so good. And this would be the perfect time to do it because she's one of the founding members of the BSAA. She, Chris, and a few others helped form the organization. So it only makes sense that if the organization is starting to do some corrupt stuff, she'd be there to investigate that. Like that just makes sense. So I'm really hopeful Capcom has heard the fans plead to bring in this character back. And not just the remake. Okay, Resident Evil 3 Remake was great and all that. I'm sure it has its fans. I particularly wasn't a fan of it. But I want Jill in the modern time. I want her to be right here in 2022 Resident Evil timeline. Like, I want that. And I think that's what a lot of fans want. Because Resident Evil 5 was the last time we saw her canonically. That was the last time. And that was 13 years ago. And we haven't seen her since. We haven't even really heard from her. You know, I think the last time we heard from her was in that email she sent to Barry that we read in Revelations 2. And even that's been forever ago. So it's like, it's time for Jill to return. It's just time for this character to finally get a spotlight. I want her to not only be in Resident Evil 9, I want her to have a campaign in Resident Evil 9. Like, she needs to have a campaign. There needs to be a Chris campaign and an Ada, or an Ada, a Jill campaign. Like, there needs to be that element to it. Or do it like a uh, Resident Evil 5 thing, where it's basically their partners, and you can pick between Chris or Jill. That's what needs to happen. We need to have that element to it. Because here's the thing. Jill is probably Chris's most trusted partner. You know, out of all the people Chris works with, Jill has got to be the one that he trusts the most. Barry is probably equal with Jill, but he's up there in age now. And so Jill's probably the safe bet to go with on this mission and have the utmost trust for. Because they've been doing this since the beginning to, with each other. And so it just makes sense. Not to mention, like I said, they're two of the founders of the whole organization. So it just makes sense. And because of Resident Evil 3 Remake, they have a character model of Jill already there. It already exists. All they have to do is add some textures to it to make her look a little older. That's it. So we already have a Jill character model that we can go off of. And there you have it. So the stars feel like they're aligning perfect for Jill's return. It's just a matter of will Capcom deliver. That's really what this comes down to. Hopefully they do deliver. Hopefully we pop in Resident Evil 9 in 2020 whatever and Jill's there. If so, I will be so hyped. First person perspective or not, you know, I'm not a fan of that, but hey, if Jill's in it, I don't care. I will be absolutely hyped to see 
Jill Valentine back in Resident Evil and so will so many other fans because that would just be such a huge deal. One thing that I do want to suggest though, kind of a curveball to the plot here, is that the BSAA is messing around with BOWs and doing, you know, this shady work now. Is it possible that they're using Jill as a host? You know, is it possible that they're pulling a Wesker and they're using Jill as a host to formulate these uh, experiments to create create these uh, BOWs? Is that possible? Because, you know, she was in rehab and she was doing testing with the BSAA. So could they possibly be extracting samples from her to formulate this stuff? That could be what they're doing. Now, I hope that's not what they're doing because that's basically a rehash of five. And I don't want Jill's character to be this character that's just like a plot convenience of, oh yeah, we use Jill to create viruses now. She's just a virus making factory and that's all she is now. Like, I hope she actually has some action in it. I don't want her to just be captured and used to make more viruses. Like, give her some actual action and let her actually fight and do stuff and have cool moments and all of that good stuff. Like, that's what we want. That's what all of us as Resident Evil fans and Jill Valentine fans, we want to see that. So, I'm hopeful for it. Like I said, if it does happen and we actually do get Jill in Resident Evil 9, I will be absolutely hyped up for that game. Easily. Because, I mean, it's been forever since we've seen any other of the big name characters not named Chris. This year will mark 10 years ago Resident Evil 6 came out and... That was the last time that we've seen any other major character not named Chris because it's been 10 years since Leon's been in the game, 13 years for Jill, thir uh, 10 years for Sh Sherry. I mean, it's been it's been stupid. So reintroducing Jill would, would just be really cool. I wanted to make this quick video talking about that because I, I do think it will, I think there's a good chance for it to happen. Like I said, the stars are aligning it's just a matter of it's just a matter of Capcom delivering and so I wanted to throw that out there kind of discuss it because I thought it was an interesting thing to talk about and uh, just give my opinion on whether or not it will actually happen I do think it will happen I do think Capcom knows that we want this character to come back and so with that I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video not too much more I can say on it but that I hope it does happen that I whenever they do announce a Resident Evil 9, which is going to be a while from now because we haven't even seen the DLC for 8. So who knows when that will actually get announced, probably like 2027 or something. But when it does, fingers crossed that Jill Valentine makes a reappearance finally by Capcom. So fingers crossed on that. I will go ahead and end this video here, and I will see you all on the next one. See you then.